a wide range of courses available for you. Um, and like I said, whether you want to progress to third level or whether you want to retrain in any particular area, we have the course for you. It's just a matter of figuring out which is the best course for you. And uh, Mary and Breed and the teachers in the breakout rooms in the next while will be able to guide you through all of that. So you're all very welcome. Um, and listen, have a lovely hour, as it were. Um, engage as much as you can with the teachers in the breakout rooms. And um, yeah, so I'll hand you back to Mary, I think it is, who's going yeah. to continue on. So listen, the best of luck to everyone um, in whatever you choose to do. Um, and hopefully you will see you on the corridors in September. Thank you, Noreen, that's fantastic. So good morning, everybody. My name is Mary, Mary McMahon, and I'm one of the um, course tutors here in Greenhills College. I teach on the different courses and also I'm a further education coordinator here in the college. So it's really lovely to meet with you all this morning. In the past, we always had a traditional face to face open day where students would walk through our corridors. They would meet with teachers and they would like visit the different rooms and different facilities. So unfortunately, for the past two years, we've been unable to do that due to COVID restrictions. But this is a really nice way for us to reach out to you. And over the course of the morning, we're going to give you a flavour for what it's like to be a student in Greenhills College. And later on, um, we're going to have a breakout room session, as Breed mentioned, where you'll actually get to meet with specific course tutors from your course of interest. So that's really something to look forward to. So what I'm going to start by talking with you about this morning, first of all, is why you should do a further education course and why should you study in Greenhills College? So let's get started. Let's talk about why you should do a further education course. So here in Greenhills College, we offer over 20 courses and they're all certified at QQI levels four to six. The majority of our courses, in fact, are at QQI level five. So what does that mean? Well, QQI level five, it's like a springboard. It's a springboard to so many opportunities for your future. That's opportunities, first of all, to progress to third level education. And by third level, I mean to study at any university, at any technological university, or at any institute of technology, anywhere in Ireland and even abroad, because that's the wonderful thing about the QQI qualification. It's an internationally recognized qualification. And students um, who complete our courses, they do so for different reasons. Some are very much of the mindset that they want to progress to work. And I know this morning we have some people who are um, interested in childcare, interested in medical secretary and interested in healthcare. And those courses, every single year when students complete their work experience, we get students who are actually recruited while out on the workplace into employment. For other people then, I know a lot of people here this morning are hoping to progress onto third level and some people maybe are undecided and that's the beauty of these courses is you can progress down either route. Many of you here this morning I know are, have chosen courses such as um, software development, nursing and science and these courses have excellent links through the higher education link scheme to third level. So that means you can study at any third level institute in Ireland. I myself, I teach a lot on science and nursing and every single year, what's really lovely is to hear the feedback from our students, how our students have progressed and what they've moved on to. And we love hearing about their positive success stories. And really with the QQI award, you can go anywhere from here. You really, really can. There are so many wide opportunities. Say, for instance, our nursing students, they have a qualification at the end of that year where they can work in daycare centres and nursing homes straight away. And then maybe in September, then they will obviously be hoping to start at third level. So there really are so many opportunities with this. And the real beauty of doing a further education course is, you know, there's so much choice and sometimes it can be so hard to decide what you want to study at third level. If you've come directly from your leaving cert, how will you actually know that you're going to be good at a course, that you like a particular course? And we all know maybe people who started a course at third level, a four year degree course, and maybe it just wasn't for them. And there can be different reasons why, but how will you know unless you try it out? And that is the beauty of further education. If you come and study with us for one year, you will get to test out your area of interest. You will find, do you have an aptitude for it? Do you like it? And that can really then just make you really focused on your studies. Also, over the course of the year that you study with us, you will gain so many skills. You will gain so many practical skills that are relevant to your course area and also assignment skills. 
So let's look at the practical skills you will gain. So think about this, like you will be immersed in like your area of specialism for one full year, which is really tremendous. So like say, for instance, if you're an engineering student, I know this morning we have some people who are interested in engineering. You will be studying like engineering for one year, which will put you at such an advantage ahead of your peers when you do go on to third level. And with our engineering course, we have excellent links to IT Tala, um, now TU Dublin, where for one afternoon of the week, you will actually study in TU Dublin. Um, so like by the end of the year, you will be adept at like working in the workshop. You'll have gained so many practical skills that a typical Leaving Cert student wouldn't have. And then when you do start your course, you will be able to bring all of those skills to bear and that will really help you in your third level studies. I'm just thinking of other courses that we teach. So for instance, nursing, like our nursing students, they will be exposed to all practical skills over their year in the college. You will be really expert at taking blood pressures, at like working with patients, feeding patients, dressing patients, all of these things that you will need to know when you start working as part of a nursing course. And again, like a typical Leaving Cert student wouldn't have all this knowledge. And then that's just the tip of the iceberg, all the practical skills you gain. You also will learn so many skills around assignment writing. Many of us have, you know, maybe come from Leaving Cert and some people here maybe this morning, um, you know, maybe are just in Leaving Cert at the moment. But we're all aware that you're Leaving Cert, regardless of how long ago you did it. It's just one terminal exam that's worth 100 percent. That really is not the model that is um, employed at third level. And third level is in universities and technological universities and ITs. In all of these, it's a basis of continuous work, where for the, over the course of the academic year, you submit assignments, you submit practical work, and you will get such, um, such a practice at doing this in Greenhills College. We will take you through this journey of writing assignments. We will show you how to research, how to construct assignments, and how to reference using the Harvard reference system. Harvard referencing system and this is tremendous to have these skills when you go on to third level. Again, a typical Leaving Cert student wouldn't have these skills. So everything we do will put you at such a huge advantage when you do go on to your further further studies, if that's what you want to do. Or for many people, they hope to progress into the world of work as well. Um, I suppose I mentioned it in the past. We have had so many success stories over the years and we have been delivering further education courses in Greenhills College for 40 years, which is like a big selling point of the college. We're really experienced in delivering these courses and we're actually really, really passionate about what we do as well. And we really care for our students. And I think that is really that is really conveyed in all our work we do on a daily basis. I suppose just some other reasons why it would be a good idea for you to complete a further education course if this is the route you're thinking of following. Further education courses are suitable for people of all age profiles in our classes, and this will reflect what you will have in the world of work for those of you that are hoping to progress to employment and also obviously at third level there will be a variety of age profiles on some of our courses we have people who have just completed their leaving cert but others are people who are returning to education to upskill and to reskill at all different parts of their life because you know like um, for many people their education it's not just um, something that finishes at the age of 17 or 18 it can be a lifelong journey and so many people return to education at all parts of their life and we really embrace this Greenhills College. We really embrace that diversity and like it really is lovely the relationships that, that the students develop and we can learn so much from each other, people of all different age profiles. I suppose another reason why um, you know it's good to complete a further education course is the fees are the fees are so affordable. Say, for instance, we talked about like if you were to start studying a four year degree at third level for so many people, it can be disappointing if this you know, is not the path for you. And some students, they find this out maybe within the first six months. They just kind of know um, even by Christmas that it's not the path. But there has been so much research done to the, into this um, area in recent years and studies have shown that those students that complete a further education course first, that there are so much higher retention levels when it does come to higher education. And again, that's for all the reasons that I just discussed. Hopefully you've tried out the subject area beforehand, you know you like it, you know you're good at it, and you've gained different practical skills and different assignment writing skills that really um, give you such an edge over a typical Leaving Cert student. And just what's really good as well, like obviously our fee are so aff affordable and you know um, we can tell you about the fees later on but they are really really affordable in relation to um, or sorry in comparison to if you were to study at third level whereas we all know the third level fees are thousands of euros every year and 
what's really positive about us here in Greenhills College as well is, and all further education colleges is you can avail of the SUSE grant. So anybody who's entitled to the SUSE grant, they can actually bring that with them when they go on then um, to third level as well. So you can have your SUSE grant for the year you're in Greenhills College, and then you can also continue into further studies. And we've other um, affordable programs as well, such as VTOS, which again, we can talk to you about later on if anybody thinks that it's applicable to them. VTOS students pay no fees, and it's typically people who are in receipt of an intro payment for more than six months and are over 21 years of age. So those are just some of the reasons why a further education course could be a good option for you. Next of all, I'm just going to talk you through why you should study at Greenhills College. So I've already mentioned, I suppose, all our experience we've amassed over the years. We have been delivering further education courses, as I said, for four decades. And all this experience, it really does bring itself to bear in the courses that we deliver. Our staff are just so caring. They're real experts in their areas of, of, of um, in their areas of, of um, in their different course areas. And they really care and are really, really passionate about you and about wanting to progress your study and wanting to progress your learning. And they really, this does really, I suppose, impact on the courses. And it really makes the whole experience so much more enjoyable for our students because you're in a warm, supportive, um, nurturing environment. It's a very friendly environment. Like students, you know, are just so friendly and like, you know, staff and students, we all get on so well, but yet we all have a goal at the end of this all, and that's progression to employment or progression to further studies. So we are very, very focused as well. I suppose some other reasons as well why um, Greenhills College might be the college for you. Our class sizes are very small. Our typical class sizes, it can vary, but on average we have like, you know, it's up to 24 students. Like if you compare that with third level, say for instance, if you were to start a science course at third level, if maybe a degree, there could be, or there would be hundreds of students typically in your first year. Whereas in Greenhills College, you have 24. So think about all the one-to-one -one feedback you're getting. Like say for instance, if you're a science student or an engineering student or a computer student, you'll get that all to all that one-to-one -one feedback, which will really help you and really push on your learning. And you know, really, I suppose, that it can be very encouraging for people as well when they're working in such a small class environment. We have excellent facilities in the college as well. Like we have specialised labs. We've really, over the years, we've put so much investment and we've received a lot of grants. We have very specialised computer facilities. We have excellent labs for science, excellent labs for engineering. And then we have like um, excellent labs for students who are doing healthcare and nursing as well. We have a care skills type room that um, is basically like a simulation of a hospital environment. So like straight away, you're immersed in an environment that will be very similar to the world of work and also the world of further education. Um, just as well, some other advantages, and these are simple things, but they actually make such a difference. In Greenhills College, we're obviously um, very close to the city centre, but we have free parking and we have ample parking. Many colleges in Dublin have no parking for students. And also we're really easily accessible. We're just off the M50 and we're on so many bus routes and we're actually on the terminus for two buses, the 15 and the 9A. And all of that information about our accessibility is on our website, should anybody like to find out more about it. So at this point, I'm now going to pass you over to Breed. In a while, I'll be popping back on and I'm just going to give you a brief snapshot and overview of the courses that we offer. But for now, I'm going to pass you over to Breed and Tanya. The, Breed is going to talk with you about guidance and Tanya is going to talk with you around admissions and applying for our courses. Thank you, everybody. Thanks very Thanks much, Mary. So my name is Breed and I'm the full time uh, guidance counsellor available for our further education students. I have Tanya sitting in the room beside Hi me there. and she's our administrator and she's going to talk you through fees and application procedures when I'm finished. So just as a general point, um, Mary was talking about the huge variety of people who come to us and with all on very different paths. So guidance is central to all further education colleges um, and we put a lot of time and effort into it in Greenhouse College. Um, so we do, we reach out to you through general programs, general information um, in your class groups, but I would do an awful lot of work one-to-one uh, -one with students because as Mary said, they're on so many different paths. Um, some of them very focused, some of them uh, exploring, some of them maybe, you know, confidence is an issue and it's supporting people through to making um, making choices that um, um, help them in their in their in future lives and career. So Mary was talking there earlier about testing out an area and that is so true and 
for example, I have a student this year who is in the science group, always loved science and um, really, you know, was good at it in school. Has done this course, enjoyed it, but has now decided to go a completely different route into a completely different area. So as Mary says, that type of experience and working one to one with me means that he hasn't gone on to do a first year in a course. And then if he has to do another first year in a different course, well, then we're into a lot of fees and your Susie grant stops. OK, so the Susie grant, as Mary says, supports you to move upwards in the system. So where you're coming on, progressing from second level and um, and then you're progressing up to um, TU Dublin or university or um, Institute of Technology, you're moving up. But the minute you stop and if you have to repeat a year or do a first year again in another course, you have to pay your fees for that year and you lose your Susie grant. And the good news does come back to you once you start moving up the ladder again. Um, but um, it's just to show you that that um, we have we're able to give you the time and space for career, career exploration and management this year and we're trialing it. They purchased a suite of guidance programs, the various apps that help you explore uh, your career goals. They also keep you on track for the events, the calendars, the open days. They even have a section on current jobs, you know, a whole range of, of things. So that again means even if you do end up in the right course, right, the course that's right for you. Sometimes I feel with students, they're second guessing themselves. So going through that process with me, going through that those type of apps and things and talking about with me afterwards means that they very confidently can say whatever all of those courses I've chosen in CAO uh, for starting next September. I know I like them. I know I'll thrive in them and um, I know what I'll struggle with in them because you'll always struggle with something, you know, in college. There'll always be, you know, most people, it's maths and statistics or something. But you will know that you are and, and going in with confidence in the door, as Mary said, and with um, with extra skills, with vocabulary, specialised vocabulary um, relevant to your field. And like I said, if you'd go a different direction, knowledge is never wasted and your whole uh, doing assignments and everything like that help. So I do very practical things with people. I do the progressing on to uh, uh, the next level. I do the CAO, I do the SUSE, I do UCAS, I do UNICAS. And um, we, we help you um, um, with even activating here and there. And I'll come back to that in a minute. So a large part of my role is guiding and supporting people through these tortuous um, applications. OK, so and people get very anxious and we're all very anxious after COVID um, in, in general. So I'm here to take the anxiety out of that. Um, if you're going on to employment, um, you, I help you can help you with CVs. I can help you with job applications. I've just done the major part of CAO now, so I'll be turning to the other cohort when they come back to us from the work experience looking and seeing is the CV right for the area you're applying for? If they want to do mock interviews with me, we can do all of that. Um, and often for people, especially in our younger courses, just getting the foot in the door for the first job. So that's a big area that we that we do as guidance counsellors in Greenhills. The other one then is uh, personal support. So um, we would, I would do a lot of that. So um, People, there might be, you know, we have bereavements, there's there's things that are happening for people in their life. So I'm there to support them while they're in the college. I'm there to help them access outside agencies if that's what they need. Um, and, you know, as Mary said, it's all about relationships and green hills. So people build strong relations with me. I'm often laughing when I see people for the first time and I think, you know, you and me are going to be best buds by the end of this, but that's the way it works. You know, I can get feedback from your teachers and, you know, we, we get a lot of students and um, who are, have, are in a crisis of confidence and um, coming in. So that's the work of the guidance department. So we support you with the practical things, the emotional, and we just try and help you see, you know, just maybe have more belief and confidence in yourself. Now, um, and just I'll, I'll try and go as briefly as I can, which is some other things. Um, 
um, we have a disability, we have a, we can support people with disabilities, either a spectrum, um, specific learning difficulties, various different things, and we have an academic support system. So it's really, really important that you apply for that when you come into the college. Unfortunately, if you come straight from school, it doesn't track with you, that's a fault in the system. So get on to us as soon as you come in and make that application. Um, I want to talk to you about, um, sorry, uh, it's particularly to the school leavers, okay? So I'm talking directly now to people who are not mature, who are under 23 years of age and are presenting a leaving cert, okay? If you're currently in school now, the best present you can give yourself is to apply with your guidance counselor in school for here or for there. Now they'll know about those schemes, okay? These are additional things that can help you progress. I can help you when you come in if you haven't done that. I'm not saying I won't, but if you've done that, they last for two years. So if you get it this year in school, it's a very simple process to carry it forward, that eligibility forward for the following year. OK, so um, that is strong advice I would give you to the school leavers, current school students. I would say try your best in your leaving cert um, you, the good habits you acquire in school mean you have less bad habits to get over when you come to us. And even if it's only in some subjects that you, you know, that you, you, you thrive in and do your best to succeed. OK, um, but I just want to give everybody a clear view of how this is so different to any other education institution you've ever been in. First of all, you start learning in September and the latest you can be examined in is, is May. So you're no longer in the torture chamber of getting a final exam after two years. So it feels much fairer to people and everybody's starting at the one point. Everybody, it's, it's new to everyone from the um, very academic people who are going in the science class and so on. But for we're starting, we're starting at the beginning. So really everybody can do it. And for the first time, people actually often find they're thriving and they're succeeding. They start to go, do you know what? I can do this. I can go on further. And the key to that success is attendance. The key to that success is meeting your draft deadlines because the teachers give you feedback. It's not like the exams. You get the feedback. If they're telling you something, you listen and um, you will get a better mark then. Um, and a lot of, as Mary said, a lot of our, our things are done on um, on this assignment basis. So really, we see students thriving and succeeding in Green Hills. Our staff, as Mary said, I cannot fault them. They are constantly referring students to me. We um, work hand in hand. And the greatest joy of working in the sector is when our students are leaving us, by God, they leave us, they leave standing taller, feeling more confident, feeling that they have a direction in their lives. And that's wonderful for us. You, you couldn't we all love working in the sector. Uh, so guidance counselling, Green Hills College, we're here for you. OK, so I'm going to pass you on to Tanya now, who is our administrator, and she's going to bring you through fees, application and other bits of advice that she's gleaned over her many, many years working with us. Hope to see you all in September. Bye. Thank you, Breed. <clears throat> Hi there, everybody. Good morning. And um, as Breed said, my name is Tanya and I'm in reception. I'm mainly the end of the phone call. If you were in Green Hills or if you come in the door, I'm in the office straight ahead of you. Um, I deal with applications um, every on a daily basis into the college. So if you how to apply for a course in, in, in Green Hills, if you go on to our Green Hills College website, You'll see on the website that we have two, we have a secondary school and we have a further education section and um, you click on the further education section and it should bring you to a page with four girls in cap and gowns. That's when you know you're on the right page. So the four girls are there and beneath the picture of the four girls in cap and gowns is a, is a text welcoming you and just a brief description of Green Hills. There is a highlighted apply here in green, I think it is on the on the website. You can click there. Alternatively, you can view our courses. You can click at the tab on the top of the, the further ed page where it says courses. Select your course that you may be interested and also apply from the courses that you select. 
and um, the easiest way also there is a tab at the top of the page as well so there might be courses and um, about us and um, there is apply as well there so there's three separate ways to apply and um, when you make your application it's a brief form it'll ask you for your name address phone number pps number and just a few other brief details and you click submit you should receive you'll know that you've been successful as you should receive an automated email back to say that we have received it normally now if you apply on a Monday, I will get back to you on a Tuesday. So we're setting up online interviews at the moment. So I, you will receive an email back to the tune of um, thank you for your application. We will be in contact with you over the coming weeks. And then the individual teachers then that will interview you will contact you directly, either by phone or email. Um, if you have a query, which I noticed this morning there because I had two separate phone calls, those emails that we send back, we generate them through our system and sometimes they're not going into the inbox, which happened this morning. So I'd suggest that if you feel that you haven't, you know, that your, your application has been unlocked, just go into your junk or your spam. Um, and the best thing is to check that your email or your application went in successfully is to possibly just give the give the college a ring. It takes two seconds for us to check that your name is on the system. And if you are unsure and you cannot find the email, um, just give us a call or get one of your parents. If you can't make it during the day, just get one of your parents to ring and we can check it up for you. Following that, then, as I said, the teachers, the individual teachers off who are specific in their area will interview you and they will make contact with you. Um, following that, then um, we offer you, we, we email an offered letter and the offered letter will basically say that you, we are offering you a place on this course and you will be required to pay 40 euros within five days of receiving this email. Now we are, we have a huge amount of applicants and it's the only fair way, I suppose, to decide, you know, whether you, whether you want the place on the course. I would suggest to everybody um, to pay the 40 euros and I'm mentioning now that it is non-refundable but it buys you reassurance and that if your leaving cert hasn't gone the way you would like it to go you have a backup plan there and you needn't be fretting or worrying so if you've been offered your place and you've paid your 40 euros in March you can go ahead you can do your leave insert and you know try and achieve the best but if if it doesn't work out for you you do have the reassurance there that there is a place and um, we will send out then following that um deals details about induction and start dates mid-summer so roughly about july the beginning of august we send these letters out so once you pay your 40 euros in march you will not hear from us until the end of july beginning of august so there we will send out details of when to come in for an induction and um, when your course will be starting, what you will re be required to bring in and any other contact details that you'll, you'll be asked and um, that you'll need there. Alternatively, if you're unsure of anything between that period of maybe accepting the place on the course and the summer, we're here all summer. The school doesn't close for the exception of two weeks in August. So feel free, although the schools, you may think the schools are closed, to ring us in July, ring us in June. We're always there. We always, if there's nobody answering the phone, just leave a message on our answer machine. We will contact you. And alternatively, the, e the, the emails, the PLC emails are answered on a daily basis as well. So um, if, you, if you can't get us on the phone and you want to email, we'll get back to you. We will endeavour to get back to you in the day, if not the following day. So I hope that puts everybody at ease. As I said, we're always on the end of the phone. Um, my, my name is Tanya and my colleague in the office is Tina. Both of us, you'll get through to either one of us and we can help you with any concerns. And just a quick note on the fees. Um, it's really good this year because the PLC government levy has been dropped of 200 euros. So now students are just required to pay 230 euros in total. Um, 40 euros will be required to pay following your interview. The 140 and the 50 euros exam fee will be required to be paid before you start the course in September. 
and um, we will and um, you can log on individually and pay that at an installment basis yourself once you have your lot once when you apply you'll get a username and log in and you can log in to pay that deposit on your own and you can pay your fees over the summer and um, alternatively you can ring into the office and we can take it by card and um, if it suits you to pay 10 euros a week we can do that um, and there is also an exemption for if you have a medical card, you won't have to pay the 50 euros. So if you're a full medical card holder, your fees are only going to be 180. Otherwise, um, the rest of the fees will be 230. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Okay, everybody, so I'm now just going to give you a brief um, overview of the different courses that we offer in Greenwood College. Just a very brief snapshot. And when you move to the breakout rooms, which will be in a few minutes, you will get to meet with specific um, course teachers that are actually delivering the courses um, in your specialised area. So just to give you a brief overview of the different courses that we offer and maybe the main reasons that people do the course. Um, I know today there's people interested in completing the nursing course and I briefly mentioned this beforehand. People who um, complete nursing, they're really hoping to study at third level. It's quite an academic course, but also you will be qualified to work in any daycare centre, any nursing home or any hospital as a care assistant, which is a big advantage. And you will be able to do this, say, for instance, in your holidays or while you're starting, um, you know, while you're waiting for your college to begin. We also have people then here today who are interested in completing the healthcare assistant course. And this is really aimed at people who want to work in the sector, who want to work as a healthcare assistant in all the settings I mentioned, or maybe a carer in somebody's home. It gives you the level five qualification that is necessary to do so. We have a number of childcare courses and they're now called ELC, Early Learning and Care. We're offering stage one and stage two. Um, and we have two of the teachers here this morning, Caroline and Paula. Um, thanks, Caroline and Paula. There are two lovely teachers on that course. And that course is excellent because you can start off, you can do level five, and then you can progress on to level six should you want. And that level five qualification, that's what's required to work in the childcare sector, to work in a creche. And also we've added on an SNA module. So you're able to work as a special needs assistant in any setting, primary, secondary, or maybe in um, specialised um, settings. Um, just some other courses briefly. We also have an excellent art course and Roger, our art teacher, will be here this morning to chat with some people who are interested in completing art. Every year our students have excellent progression opportunities from the art course and it's delivered in a lovely environment um, where students, they feel at home and they have the opportunity to explore all aspects of art and to really develop as well. Just some of the other courses that we offer. We have a number of business courses. The medical secretary course is an excellent course for those people who wish to progress to employment. Like while the medical secretaries are on their 10 day, um, two week work placement, many of them are recruited into employment because it's a really desirable award to have. And so many people, you know, they come back with excellent stories about where they're working. Like many are working in all hospitals all over Dublin and in some other, you know, more specialized facilities as well, such as universities. So there really is excellent progression opportunities if you complete the medical secretary course. Also, we have the pre-university commerce course, and this is really aimed at people who hope to study business at third level. And there's just a whole range of business courses on, op on offer in all the universities and all the ITs all over Ireland. So really that course is specifically for people who want to progress on to further studies. Um, some other courses that we have are social care, and um, some of you will be meeting today with Laura. She's our social care tutor. Social care is an excellent course for those who want to progress on to third level, but also gives you the option of progressing to work as well. And Laura will tell you about all those options today when you move into the breakout room with her. Today as well, one of our tutors that you'll be meeting with, those of you that are interested in computing, because I know a number of people are interested in computing today. We have um, different computing courses. We have a cybersecurity course, we have computer systems and networks, and we also have software development with games design. And all of these courses, you will be immersed, you will be working in a computer lab, learning very specialised content, which Regina will bring you through when she talks with you in the breakout room. And again, these courses, the software development course, we have excellent um, progression opportunities onwards to third level from that course and also the computer systems and network course. You can study um, at most universities and at most institutes of technology after you complete those courses. Um, we have a number of science courses and this morning my, my fellow name, 
um, Mary is going to be um, in the science and engineering room. So Mary will be telling you about those courses. And again, our science courses, the students who complete these courses are typically students who hope to study science in Trinity and UCD um, in TU Dublin or in Maynooth. And they do every single year. We have excellent progression. And in particular, many of our students progress onto UCD after completing this course. As I mentioned, for the engineering students, we have a really great link with TU Dublin, where for one afternoon of the week, our students, they go to TU Dublin and they actually on site, they complete an electronics module. So really, the students who are completing engineering, you'll get a wonderful grounding in engineering, but also then like it's really aimed at people who again hope to progress onto third level. Um, just moving on then, I think that's nearly all the courses. I hope I haven't left anything out, but you'll all be moving to your breakout rooms anyway. And just to let you all know, um, really excitingly, we've actually been working on a video, a whole series of videos with our staff and with our students. And these will really give you an excellent flavour, an excellent, an excellent taste for what it genuinely is to be like a student in Greenhills College. So later on today, all of the participants who've attended this webinar, I'll be emailing you the link. Like this um, video, it's just been um, made in the last few weeks and many of the teachers actually haven't even seen it. And in time, over the next few days, it will be available on our website. And also just to say as well, Breed mentioned at the start of the webinar that this session, this initial information session is being recorded. So this too will be available afterwards on our website. Um, Breed, is there anything else um, before uh, we go to the breakout much, rooms? Mary, I, I I forgot to mention something quite important. So just as Mary's talking about progression there, and um, so you can go, you can do nursing and go into nursing, you can do computers and go into computers. But just to be aware <coughs> that a lot of the ITs and uh, some of the universities, and you may know it's brilliant for, you don't have, they, they, they can be quite open. So you can switch field entirely. So it's not just that you've done business, you have to do business at the next level. You can use the business to get into completely different kinds of courses as well. Uh, sometimes they will be looking for a maths requirement, but we have maths in business. So just be aware that even for our school leavers, it's wide open if you choose to change horses and go for a different way. And certainly for our mature students, they could come in doing social care, but change to something quite different. So I just forgot to make you aware of that. Thanks very much. <laughs>